Hello shenanigamers, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, a bit of bad news. My mic audio did not quite pick up in the last episode that I tried to record. However, the in-game video and audio are still intact, so we're going to go ahead and catch you up on what you missed right now. We sent a team to the Weald on a veteran scouting mission, a short one, to explore 90% of the ruins. What about got rabies? We explored 90% of rooms, the strength to follow it. completed the quest, returned to the hamlet, set what about to the sanitarium to get the rabies removed, and that's about all that happened. So, now that you're caught up, let's get into this once again. Now, there's plenty of missions available for us to do here. And I think we're going to go for this skirmish mission in the cove. So who do we bring with us there? Hmm. Not entirely certain we want to bring Alpha since they're cove-phobe. We could bring Solaires. Get them some protection and such. Well, no. Alpha would be better for the protection with... Uh, with the stand. Or maybe Villa, but Villa is too high a level for this mission. We could try and bring Reviers. This Herbert's almost entirely out of the question until we get them some stress relief, which we could do, but we'll hold off for right now. We could bring Reynold Dismas Detmanide to the cove. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Hmm. Let's go ahead and bring Papon so we have a healer with us for certain. We'll try to bring Uri. They can kind of shift in and out of the first position there. We will bring Alpha. They're going to be a bit stressed out in the cove, but I think we'll be alright. And then, heading up the rear, who do we want to bring with us? Hmm. You know what? Varal is a decent choice, but I think Pashal might actually fit better here. They have the capacity to blight, de-stealth. Increase dodge, heal. They're a pretty good choice for this mission, I think. Or this quest, rather. Yeah. We'll go with that. Alright. Now let's get everyone some trinkets. So. Just to make sure we have unequipped and sorted all of them. Now, let's go ahead and give this healing armlet to Alpha. So they heal her more. And they're cove-phobe, so the more stress they take, the worse off we'll be. But we want to give them as much of a chance against these things as we can, so... Possibly the immunity mask would be a good bet for them. At least in theory. What else could we give them? We could give them the fortune armlet, but that would up their stress even further. We don't want to do that. We could give them the Redemption Armlet, but with how much stress they're going to be getting, their Virtue Chance should be higher. So we don't want to risk that. And that Imposter Syndrome can be dangerous. So we want to be careful of that. And then, what do we do here? Let's go with the Warrior's Cap to up their melee accuracy. Accuracy is typically somewhere that lepers tend to struggle. Now, Uri. We want to help Uri out here as well, so what do we give you? Could give them the bleed amulet, but I don't think that'd be the best idea. So, what else can we give them? Let's see. Hmm. Well, 
Uh, uh, this one's a bit tricksy. We can give them the slippery boots. Lower move resist, but the higher dodge is probably going to be a good help there. And then what else do we give them? Uh, Book of Constitution wouldn't be a bad idea. Calming Crystal's not terrible either. Let's go ahead and give them the Steady Bracer. That way we still have a boost to a dodge from the Trinket, but we also have bonus to the range skills. And Point Blank Shot and Pistol Shot are going to be very helpful. Duelist Advance does some decent enough damage, but it sets up Repulsed even if we miss, so it's not essential that we hit with that. Point Blank Shot and Pistol Shot, however, they deal better damage, so we want those to hit more frequently. Now, Papon. Go ahead and give them the Tome of Holy Healing. And this time around, I believe we'll give them... Mm, let's go ahead and give them the... Hmm, this one's tricksy, actually. Uh, we could give them Junia's Head or the Ancestor Scroll. Yeah, we'll go with the Ancestor Scroll. That's not too much of a stress increase. And then Paschal. We'll go ahead and give them the Fleet Florin. And the Bag of Marbles. The Chirurgeon's Charm might be a better bet in this situation than the Fleet Florin. But for right now, I think that's the way we want to go about this. Alright, let's go ahead and provision here. Full stack and a half of food. Three shovels. Four anti-venoms. Full stack of six bandages. We're going to go with a full stack of six medicinal herbs, just in case we come across some curios that we'll have to do with that. If nothing else, we can use them for debuffs. Two keys. Four holy waters. Two laudanums. Stack and a quarter of torches. All right, let's go ahead and embark. Cove. The fish folk's scaled skin forged them increased resistance to bleeding attacks. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. All right, let's get started then. Since Pashal is here with us, we might as well have them Another interacting with most of the curios. Another misfortune. Just so that we can get whatever coin we can out of this. And all the artifacts we can out of this. A torch. Head in. And a room battle right off the bat. And they get the surprise on us. Let's go ahead and move Pashal back. That'll at least make Alpha capable of hitting them. Let's go ahead and use Illumination here on this Wide Mouth. As the Debuffs them. Purchase, spear are fishing. Ow. And purpose is made clear. Just didn't move. Another Spear fishing. Good dodge. Tidal Slam. Whew. Good dodge, Uri. Let's go for the point blank shot here. Pushes them back, and then we'll go for we'll stand with Alpha here, get the protection and the resistances up now. Now we can use some invigorating vapors, up everyone's dodge a bit. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Let's go with the duelist advance here. Nice amount of damage, and the repulse is set up. Now we can go for the divine grace on Papon, heal up the damage they just took. Seaward Slash, good dodge, 
Another Seaward Slash. Good dodge. And the attack from the Repost almost knocks them down entirely. So let's go with the Q. Confidence surges that takes the them down and damages the first one pretty badly. Arterial Pinch. Good dodge, Alpha. Alright, let's go for another Invigorating Vapors here. Keep the dodge even higher. Illumination here. A little bit of damage. The dodge is lowered. Seaward Slash. Ow. Go for the point blank shot here. Continually onslaught. Destroy Takes care of that. And then the hue here. Four. There's a lot of damage to the corpses. Arterial pinch. Ow. Resisted the debuff and the bleed from that. And hit them back. Very happy about that one. Let's go for the flash powder on the Upa Crusher. And then let's go for the duelist advance on them as well. Just keep their repulse going. We'll go for the illumination. They resist the debuff. And then the hue on the corpses gets rid of them and brings the crusher back up into the first two positions. Good dodge. Let's go for another invigorating vapors here. The blood quickens. Could go for open vein, but point blank shot is probably going to be for the best here. Another illumination. That knocks the dodge down. And then we're going to go for the chop. Start hacking away at him. Material pinch. Good dodge. Hit some back. Three. Let's go for festering vapors here this time. Crit for two. And we get the blight. We'll go for illumination. Debuff again. Go for the chop. Missed it. And then the Duelist Advance. Keep the repulse going. Arterial Pinch. Good dodge. Good repulse. Another Festering Vapors here. Adds on to the damage over time. Point blank shot. It's a lot of damage. The Blight will take care of the rest. So let's go with Solemnity here. Crit healing for 24. And then let's actually just go with Divine Comfort to heal everyone up a little bit. There we go. No problem with that one. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. No scout. That's all right. And then use a key on the chest here. Take what we can. We don't quite need so many portraits, so we'll take the crest instead of the portraits there. Then we'll go ahead and move on. First room battle went surprisingly well. If only treasure Take the coin in the antiques. The corruption. And then this crate. A take the reward. coin, or take the antique and the crests. Well Up the torchlight. Head into the room. No room battle. Single curio in this hallway. Alpha is accepting some kind of call here. And they get natural eye in place of gifted. That's a shame. I enjoyed having gifted. It gave them more healing received. And they got natural eye. Plus five accuracy on ranged skills. That admittedly sucks for you, Alpha. That really sucks. If we had purge... that No, not even purge. We don't even have anything that really could have benefited from that. None of your attacks are ranged. That quirk really was a poor trade-off. But we still have Mankind Hater, R Resilient, Ruins Adventure, and Wheel Tactician. So, not too bad off, I suppose. Right, and then in this room, we have another scout. Over to this room battle with a curio. With another curio and a trap in the way. Off the torchlight move on. So then Bashal. Can check the crate. Littering more crests, more antiques. Take what we can. Paid for in blood. 
And then a trap here, we have 70, 100, 70, and 70. Obviously we go with the 100% chance to disarm it. And then move into this room here, the torchlight. And we get the surprise. So we have the Pelagic Bulwark, Cultist Gladiator, Frothing Madman, and Pelagic wide mouth. Now, first things first, we're going to go ahead and use Invigorating Vapors, get everyone's dodge up by 7, and then we're going to use this Illumination to try and get the Frothing Madman's dodge dropped a bit, which thankfully was successful. Over with Stan here on Alpha, up to protection and marks them, and then Duelist Advance on this Frothing Madman, drop his health a bit, and get the repulse set up. Accusation on Pashal. Resisted a debuff, but the birthplace of dread. Got the horror out of it. Spearfishing on Pashal, ran for the old gods on Alpha. And then a barnacle barrier, unfortunately, on the madman. And that one's not great for us. And then we'll have to deal with it, I suppose. So more invigorating vapors, another 7 dodge, another accusation on Bashal, debuffed, horror, spearfishing on Papun, good dodge, Let's go for judgment on the bulwark. We have a lot of protection up now. Let's go for the open vein on the gladiator. Get the bleed, decent amount of damage, and then we'll go for a chop on them as well. That'll take them down. Octocestus on Alpha, good dodge. Alright. Another accusation on the Shal. Gonna need to use some Laudanum over there. Spearfishing on Pepon. Yep, use the Laudanum here. And we're going to go for the Festering Vapors on that Bulwark. No damage, but we get the Blight. And we'll go for the Illumination on the Pelagic Wide Mouth. The way is lit. The path is clear. We'll go for the Open Vein we require only the on the Bulwark. It. We actually get the Bleed and lower their Bleed Resistance. Or Bleed Resist, or whatever it is, doesn't matter. And then we'll go for the hue here, that way we can deal some damage to the corpse before the bleed affects it again, and some to the bulwark, if we can hit with it. There we go. Corpse is gone. And then an Octocestus on Alpha. That one actually hits for three damage. Resisted the bleed, though. Alright, now they're no longer protecting the Madman, so let's go for the, fro the uh, Festering Vapors on the Madman. Blight going, drop their blight resistance. And then we'll go for the open vein there as well. There we go. Now the damage over time effects will take care of them. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's go for the illumination. Actually, no, we'll go for judgment on this pelagic wide mouth. Get some more damage going on there and heal up Papon a little bit. Great is the weapon that cuts Down the goes the madman. Seaward slash on Uri, which they dodge. And then we'll go for the chop on this wide mouth. The crit for 32. Radiant Forest. And another Octocestus on Alpha, which they dodge. And then we're going to go with another Invigorating Vapors here. Bring everyone's dodge up a little bit. And then Judgment on the Bulwark. And then a chop. And then we're going to go for the point blank shot. As and that finishes it off. A faint hope blossoms. Very nicely done. Right, let's see. We'll take what we can from here. We have the lock of patience for the abomination, plus 10% virtue chance. Just flat out. Just that. It's not too bad. Uh, bandage and an emerald. Well, not a lot of that we want to take with us. Now, this curio, ship's figurehead. The figurehead emits a marvelous aura. Let's see what we can do here. Just no herbs, doesn't do anything. Maybe holy water. Nope. 
Laudanum didn't do anything. Torch. Can't set it on fire. Anti-venom. Bandage. Let's just check if we got a scout here real quick. We did. That reveals the rest of this area. There's a room battle down here and a hallway battle up here. Can't avoid both of them, but we can make sure to work of it if we go down. Either way, let's just go ahead and have Pichal interact with this figurehead. It inspires them. 30 stress recovered. Very glad to see that. Let's go down here first. Excellent. So, who has something we want to get rid of? Alpha has plenty of things we want to get rid of in terms of negative quirks. Everyone here has something we would like to get rid of. But let's go ahead and use it with Alpha. Use these medicinal herbs. Imposter Syndrome quirk removed. Perfect. That's the one I wanted gone. Above all others, I wanted Imposter Syndrome gone. We can deal with the hunger there. That's fine. Still have more stress there. So we're actually going to use some medicinal herbs here on Hashal. There we go. All right. And then into this room battle. We have... Cultist Gladiator, Pelagic Widemouth, Cultist Enchantress, and a Pelagic Oracle. That Oracle could be a problem if we don't get them out of stealth. Flash Powder didn't work. Using the Stress Wave on Alpha. Now let's try the Illumination then. There we go. Bypass is stealth, D stealth. Their dodge is reduced. Ren for the Old Gods on Uri, which they dodged, thankfully. Let's go for the withstand here with Alpha. Stressful incantation on Uri. Again, dodged, thankfully. Seaward slash on Alpha. Ow. And then we'll go for the duelist advance on the Enchantress. Setting up the repulse and doing a decent amount of damage. Now let's go for the Invigorating Vapors here. Sea Breeze. To heal up the Enchantress from the Oracle. Ren for the Old Gods on Alpha. Good dodge. Seaward Slash on Alpha. Didn't dodge. Let's go for the Open Vein on this Gladiator. Decent damage and gets the bleed going. Eldritch Push on Uri. They get pushed back, but they do repulse the Enchantress. Go ahead and move Papon back. That's easily fixed. Now we can go for Solemnity with Alpha with a crit kill for 20. Almost putting them back up to full health. Stress Wave on Alpha. More Invigorating Vapors. More Dodge. Stressful Incantation on Bashal. And this time we'll go with the, uh, let's go for Judgment on this Enchantress. Doing 10, nearly taking them out. Seaward Slash on Alpha. Ouch. We'll go for the Pistol sh No, we'll go for the Duelist Advance on the Enchantress. Press this advantage. There we go, no keep quarter. the Repost going. Ran for the Old Gods on Alpha. Dodged. And let's go for the chop on this wide mouth. Takes him down to half health. Stress wave on Uri. The repulse does a nice amount of damage there. We're going to go for the festering vapors on the oracle. One damage and then sets up the light for three. Seaward slash on Uri. Repulsed it. But they take five damage, they deal five damage. We're going to go with divine comfort. This time around, war can be healing people up. But now let's go for the point blank shot on this gladiator. Crit for 27. Didn't see that coming, did you? And then we're gonna go with the hue here. And then we will go with the uh, festering vapors on this corpse. Just to try and get it out of the way earlier. Oracle, does another stress wave. Got the Chow. They dodge it this time. 
I'm gonna go for Divine Comfort here. Heal everyone back up to full. And then we'll go for a Pistol Shot to finish it. Which they dodge. Then we'll just hew these corpses. And then the damage over time effect will take care of them. So let's go with the Fortifying Vapor here on Pashal. Just because we can. And then the Oracle goes away. We take what we can from here. Bloodthirst Ring. Minus 100% food consumed. Plus 10% max HP. Minus 25% healing received. Interesting. So they'll heal for less. But they have more hit points and don't consume food. We'll take what we can, which is all of it, admittedly. Alright, quest is complete. Let's go ahead and return to the hamlet on this one. Feel confident after that one that odor this is far enough. The things Don't want to push our luck. For a time. And if not for those antiques, we wouldn't have made much of the money back, but... Here we are now. We did end up with quite a few crests from that, which is good, because we were kind of low on crests. And we did get a couple of deeds as well. And now Alpha is at champion level, and has gained Thanatophobia. Uri is an armor tinker instead of an unholy hater. And Papon is bulimic. Great. A fresh irritant to some, a sanguine memory to me. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of the bulimic disease here from Papon. And while we have some funds for it, let's go ahead and send Fitzherbert to the bar. To get rid of some of that stress that they have because they are very stressed out at the moment. And we'll go ahead and unequip and sort some trinkets by rarity here. There we go. Now, the Nomad Wagon has Heaven's Hairpin, Lucky Talisman, Book of Intuition, and Eldritch Killing Incense. Alright, not the greatest. And then we have Telly, the Adventure Abomination, Stanley, the Apprentice Vestal, and Trelly, the Seeker Antiquarian, Pace, the Seeker Grave Robber, Corvisser, the Seeker Men at Arms, Mustel, the Seeker Musketeer, and Ansgot, the Seeker Occultist, from the Stagecoach. Don't really need any of that. Now, the Blacksmith, we have enough deeds, we are three crests shy of getting armor smithing level 4. So we almost have it now. And then once that's done, we can work on getting the level 3 experienced recruits upgrade for the stagecoach, and then it will be 100% upgraded. But for right now, that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, if you want to see, uh, if you haven't already, if you want to see more content like this or the other kinds of content that we put out on the channel, we're going to keep that content coming, so don't worry about that. Hit the notification bell so that you receive notifications whenever we upload new videos. Leave a comment on the video. It helps us out a lot. It really, really does. Also, remember to leave a comment if you want to have one of the heroes in this roster named after you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.